On Your Side Burst Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Aaron Christensen. Well, at 5 and 6 o'clock, we were tracking rain for you. At 9, it was sleet, and now it is snow. Check this out. Latest picture on our radar showing this area of blue. That's full-fledged flakes falling across eastern Santa Cruz, southwest Cochise, and far southeast Pima County. Now, places like Sierra Vista, Whetstone, Huachuca City, even Bisbee, maybe into Elgin and Nogales. Seeing the snow falling, but not likely accumulating as our temperature is still too warm at the surface for that. So this is certainly picking up on the snow in the mid and upper levels that is trying to fall. And there's more rain, in fact, behind this sleet that's now moving through the Tucson metro area. So our chance for showers overnight has been up to 40% across most of southern Arizona. That means rain in the valley and snow in the higher elevations. Here are those temperatures. Currently 39 in Wilcox, 36 Sierra Vista, 39 Douglas, but 47 at this hour in Tucson, 37 is what we've dropped to already in Oracle. Now, the spot that we were showing you this new snow developing is not under our winter weather advisory, but one does still stand for northern Graham and northern Greenlee counties. Because of the snow and the blowing snow, they've had some gusting winds there this evening. Uh, dangerous travel conditions through 11 o'clock. Really just best to avoid the roads in those areas. Same goes for Pinal County, quite frankly, under a flood advisory that has been extended until 1230 tomorrow morning. This means that small streams and creeks, maybe even some ponding on the roadways, that's where you're going to see the flooding and some of those creeks and streams roads cross. So please use caution if you're going to be driving through Globe, Oracle, uh, Casa Grande, Hayden, just to name a few of the spots um, that are under this advisory. So when we take a step back, we look at the big picture here of this front that's been moving through uh, from this morning all the way through this evening. We do see those two bands of precipitation here, rain, snow, sleet, you name it, kind of joining forces here in the final uh, hour or so of our radar loop. That will continue to lift out and then we'll start to see our clearing skies uh, after about noon tomorrow. So what our temperature temperature right now is at 47 that will drop off to sub freezing or pretty close to freezing by tomorrow morning sub freezing at least in some parts of southern Arizona. So 5 a.m. Tucson our low 34 degrees. Yes, that means make sure those pipes are wrapped. The pets are indoors and the plants are brought in or covered 46 degrees by noon. But you'll notice our clouds really clearing out. The rain will have come to an end. The sun will have returned, but that doesn't mean it's going to be warm after temperatures in the morning of 29 in Wilcox 31 Sierra Vista 30 for Tucson and 27 for Benson will warm in the afternoon to the 40s. 40 for Oracle, 49 Wilcox, 49 for Tucson, but 50 for Oral Valley. So high temperatures still on the low side tomorrow, but that won't be the end of this cold blast of winter weather because look at our lows come Wednesday morning. Oh, in the 20s, Sierra Vista, you'll be at 25. Tucson below freezing with 31. 21 for Douglas and Vail. You'll be close to the freezing mark as well. So do be prepared to turn the heat up. But the sprinklers down. That's right. You can probably give those sprinklers a break here for a couple of days as we've had quite a bit of rain. After our 49 degree high tomorrow, 61 Wednesday, we rebound to almost 70 Thursday in the 70s, sticking around through our weekend. Nine on your side at 10 o'clock. We'll be right back with sports.